We've moved now into the place where Graham's cows get milked. It's a little bit different to what we saw in the video though, Graham. This is a very technical contraption <laughs> before us. Tell us what's happening. This is just a voluntary milking system or a cow liberation as we call it now, because the cows choose when they want to be milked. Not like what they showed on the video where they get milked twice a day. The cows are, come into the machine, as you can see, the, the cow wants to come in. The, all the information about the cow is kept in the transponder at the bottom of the collar. So as the cow walks through into, into the robot, the, cow will the robot will identify the cow and then it will start the milking process. Fantastic. So it's amazing the name of the cow comes up on the machine and all the details about the cow comes up as well. And what's the first thing that happens when the cow gets inside the machine? The, the cow, as soon as the cow walks in, it gets identified and then it starts and washes each of the four teats and dries it with warm air. It washes the, the teats just to make sure it's all nice and clean. It, and prior to putting the milk in unit on and making sure it's nice and clean and the milk's wholesome for us to drink. And so how does it know exactly where the teats are? We, t we teach, the, teach the robot originally where the coordinates are and then a little laser helps it find its way. And I'm guessing that the cows, they, they come in by choice and this cow looks very relaxed. It can't hurt the cows at all, can it? No, the, the cows are loving it. They actually love it. They want to get relieved of the milk and they get the added inspiration of the province as well. That's absolutely fantastic. And so I'm guessing before all, all of this, we used to uh, hand milk cows. <laughs> it used to take a very long time. <laughs> it did.